Hello everybody, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use Cadence WooCommerce Extras to create variation swatches for your variable products. As you can see on this page we've got a variable product displaying with the default variation selector. Just a simple drop down which works great in most applications. Now you can see we're selling a t-shirt, we're selling that t-shirt in multiple colors so why not add a little bit more of a visual appeal for our customers. It's pretty simple to do actually so let's get started. All right, so after you've installed the WooExtras plugin, which I'm going to assume you can do that if you're running a WordPress site. If you are not familiar, just simply do a Google search like install plugin WordPress and you'll get a bunch of tutorials that'll help you do that. Now that you've got the plugin installed, just go to the WooExtras area on the sidebar, click it, and it should take you directly to your variation swatches default settings. Now you can choose to disable them entirely on your site if you like. And you can set the defaults. As you can see, we have the uh, drop down select box enabled here, and that's pretty straightforward. You can set radio boxes. Let's check that out. Radio boxes are pretty cool. I like those. And you can style these with CSS. If you need help with that, just post on our support forums and we'll be happy to help you. Uh, let's see, what else? We've got the image and color swatches, which we'll be going over those in more detail soon. So for now, I'll just leave it. Uh, you can set whether or not you want the label to show above the swatch, below the swatch, or above it only on hover or no label at all. We'll leave it no label for the default settings. You can set the size of the swatch for the default, and you can set that choose an option text that you see in the uh, default drop down. Let's go back and you can set this to options if I can type it out. And let's see if those settings are reflected. Perfect. Yeah, so that's pretty handy. But we want to customize this single product. So we'll go into that products page and we'll scroll down here. Be sure that you're using a variable product right here in the product data and be sure you're using the attributes section to create a variable. Make sure you mark used for variations otherwise it won't show up right here and you want to add it and then you should see it in this variation swatches tab right there. As you can see it's at the default now, the drop down radio boxes we looked at those already and now for the color and image swatches so we'll select that and let's configure a label just so you can see what that looks like and then we'll give our attributes some flair so if you want to use an image say if you're selling something with a specific texture you can do that just upload your image as you would any other site or any other media on your site if you will. But we're going to use color for the simplicity and we'll just click that, get a blue, get a green, and then finally a yellow. And once those are selected, hit update. And let's preview the product to see if our changes have been reflected. Amazing! Just like that, we've got our variation swatches configured. It's a pretty straightforward process, but if you have any questions regarding any of it, always feel free to post on the support forums and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.